get it right, digital can also deliver better social and policy outcomes. But even more broadly than that, better trust, satisfaction, engagement of citizens, and ultimately, a stronger democratic process and relationship between citizens and the state. So we often think that the drivers behind digital government are all around cost effectiveness, saving money in times of austerity, making our transactions more efficient. And of course, that's the primary aim in most cases and very important. But I think we can be quite ambitious about digital and what it can achieve. And if we get it right, it can also deliver better social and policy outcomes. And beyond that even, better trust and satisfaction and engagement and ultimately a stronger relationship between citizens and the state. There's lots of success stories around the world in digital transformation. People often look to the UK and the UK and the government digital service have certainly done a fantastic job in terms of political leadership, cutting through a lot of bureaucracy, making it user focused. But I think there are also fantastic examples in other places. In Singapore, for example, they have a single inbox for uh, citizens for all of their government correspondence. Uh, the city of Paris has excellent digital services. In Barcelona, I think they're building probably some of the most sophisticated data management that I've seen. And in terms of actual services up and running today, we often think about Estonia, but I would say that Bahrain is doing a fantastic job as well. So maybe not the obvious, uh, the obvious places, but there is some fantastic work out there. I think the biggest common success factor is political leadership which enables digital services to cut across organizational silos. That's the biggest success factor. Probably the biggest misconception about digital government is that it's about technology and that you have to be a technologist or an IT person to lead it, to do it, to run it, to manage it. Yes, of course, it's enabled by technology, but digital transformation is actually about redesigning services. So the best people to do that are people who are really good at running services and who understand what their users need, and that is public servants. I think there's a lot that the public sector can learn from e-commerce in particular, but from the broader private sector. But I wouldn't be slavish about adopting everything because the relationship between a government and its citizens is different to the relationship between a consumer and a brand, and we have to accept that. I think some of the most interesting things to look at from e-commerce are around personalization and how that drives better outcomes and around the integration of owned digital platforms with the wider marketing activity. Those would be the two things I'd really take from e-commerce.